It's time! Here comes Melbourne! European Championship in Amsterdam in April of 2007. Slominski who towers over Melbourne. 6'3 of Slominski, 5'10 of Melbourne. 235 pounds is Slominski, 187 pounds is Melvin Manhoff. 48 pound or 47 pound weight, like weight difference is a lot when you're striking. You were also talking here, folks, about two of the busiest fighters, not only in K1, but in the world. Slominski, as I said, fighting three weeks ago, then of course That's fighting August 9th in Honolulu, fought in Amsterdam in April. But Melvin Manhoff, in the lead up to his fight against Gigard Masasi in Dream in the semi finals, he had an amazing 17 fights in 17 months. Oh, so Melvin Manhoff is psychotic when it comes to fighting. I mean, you know, in Dream, you know, he fought uh, Remy Bojanski and got, got knocked out. Uh, you know, was spitting blood, lungs filled with blood. You know, I don't know. Ooh. Just hit. Just you three, feel three weeks later, yeah. was in a, was in a dream ring, fighting, wow. fighting. Said, "When can I fight? When, when is my next fight?" That's all you want to know out of it. And already you can feel the thumping leg kicks of Paul Slowinski. Nice jab there from Melvin. Fires the right hand up the tube. And Slowinski just upended. Referee doesn't put a count on him. Awkward front kick there off the rear leg from Slowinski. Thought about the round kick and looked to switch it to a teep kick. Nice thrusting jab from Slowinski. Has that damaged knuckle, middle knuckle of the left hand. Just a feeling out process here so far. Front kick again from Slowinski off the rear leg. Right hand lead from Slowinski. Melvin just parries the front kick. Nicely done. Deflects it off to his left. Fires an uppercut. Went so high, St. Peter knocked it back. Oh, nice left hook from Melvin. Tasted the power. Did Slowinski. Good strategy from Melvin. Watch, you know, he's, he's, he's dealing with a height advantage by explosives. He comes in. One, two, three. Done. Out. And I'll tell you what here, Kimbo, a lot of respect being shown by both guys. Yes, it is. It is. They're filling each other out. Very wary of each other's strengths and power, both living in Amsterdam. Body shot from Melbourne and swung upstairs, looking for the headache maker, fires the right hand again. Leaking the top! Oh, smack back with the kisser! Slowinski is in a world of hurt! This one could be all over! Sweetly. Well, Paul Slowinski may be astral traveling. One minute remaining here in the first round. Overhand right, Melvin's going for the kill. The heavy artillery from Melvin Manoff. Slowinski on rubber legs, he's doing the chicken dance. Here comes Melvin. Here comes the pain. The boy tiny. Melvin smells blood, and when Melvin smells blood, that's not a good thing because he that he's going to be on you and until there is the bell still rings. Still a long time to go in this round. 35 seconds. Oh, the big kaboom! The big kaboom! The big kaboom! It's all over. Melvin Manoff has knocked out Paul Slowinski in one round. Kimbo, I know you like that. Brother. I loved it. Melvin is a stud. I I a stud. I'm not going to say that when. <laughs> Ernesto comes back, but Melvin is a stud. That's right. Brutal, brutal, brutal hook to the chin. Knockout. They explained it. You know, the guy was just out. I tell you what, the ringside position went over and asked Paul Slowinski what his name is. And Slowinski answered Wednesday. He is completely out of it. That Melvin was, was as brutal as KO's I've seen. You know, Mike, Melvin was so aggressive and focused. And like you said, when he realized that he smelled blood, he, he went for it. He went for the kill. Oh, that's Melvin. When, when Melvin smells blood, you know, he's going to be on you. He, he, he does not back down. And, but, you know, very strategic fight for Melvin. I mean, he was fighting a guy who was taller than him and 45 pounds heavier. You know, 45 pounds is a lot when you get punched. And you have a look at the replay there. You see the eyes roll back in class over. Slowinski out before he even hit the canvas. That is one of the hardest knockouts we have ever seen. Oh, most of this is a highlight reel. I mean, that knockout. <laughs>